Hey everyone, DJ Wellens back with more Killer Frequency. Let's continue saving the town. 1242. Caller on line one. You don't want to turn off the music first? Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest, my name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. This isn't a free ad spot, you know? Eh, but I'll bite. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. Me too. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's <laughs> Pizza. It's just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing your best. So, I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just oh, thanks. Just something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you, but you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running <laughs> It's not a free ad spot. I'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor <laughs> tonight, I guess. Excuse me. Hey, somebody died, but at least we're getting some free pizza coupons. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Oh my gosh. We've got a great special this Cut him off, Peggy. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay Peggy. for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? N oh, a cassette. No, but teach me anyway. Nope. In flight check time. Christ. <laughs> our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. I was just gonna try it out, cause yeah, there's a slider here, so there's gotta be stuff in here. Ah, oh, put it back in. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you, just above the sound blaster. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct Kung video Rate. warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Mm. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Never forget the element of surprise. If you buy today, oh my God. you'll receive two additional You know, they actually get more mileage out of their advertisement dollar right now because probably a lot of people are calling in and listening because of all the serial killer stuff. Thank you, Master Robbie. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I guess. Already yeah, the next one. I bet karate love making Ooh. sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? 
let's just get to the show. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally wow, play it. What a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Okay. 1 a.m.? You guys don't want to go to sleep? Did people actually call in at 1 a.m.? Oh, man. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Oh, no. Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Gallows Leslie Reporter. On. What? God, another one? Oh, God. He's all... Oh, 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 oh. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. How do I do it? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview with the reporter? <laughs> I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. Uh, yeah, we're live right now. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening there. You said there's been a break-in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Oh, and God. Teens. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. This guy's right across the street or right around the corner the from us. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. It could be an imposter. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Ooh, if you have access to all the security tapes... Ah, uh, don't, don't do that. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. Oh. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. What was that? The trash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. <laughs> and get an exclusive interview with the killer. That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? You have another For one? to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. What? You can actually give that to us? I guess we don't need this anymore. Maybe I'll put it... I'll leave it here for now. Maybe I'll put you, it on the side. You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't oh. let me down. Okay, one sec. One sec. Uh, callers. Callers. Listen to some music in the meantime. Wait. Go, Forrest! 
The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. You're right. That's what I was trying to do. God. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This is still here. It's all good, right? Uh, fax machine. Fax machine. I mean, this hallway... Didn't think I saw a fax machine here. Wait, this late at night? This place kind of freaks me out, actually. I don't know about this. Let's tape. I mean, it could be useful. Hey, there's a... Huh. What the heck is this? Oh, paper towels? Tissue? I don't know why we got this here. Just some nice music to tie me over. Gallows Reporter! GC High wins the big game. This ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> put it back down, put it back down. Just put it down. Is this the- no, this is a typewriter. Wait, was this- was this stuff here before? There's another tape here, by the way. Oh boy, uh... There may be somebody getting murdered, but we've got stuff to look at. Preliminary review. Chalupacabra. Bradley Carter. We can all agree that the flavor- Was it that thing making noise? We can all agree that the flavor profiles of Chalupa Cabra are the best in town. Despite being a pricey option and offering no deals, the El Diablo Burrito has the best mouthfeel, and those Huevos Rancheros are just excellent. For the 100th time, it's an audio medium. People won't get its egg. An excellent. Idiot. <laughs> just like how people listening to but not watching this video probably didn't get that. Wait, what does this say? Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slow roasted pizza. Much love. Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. John. Who the heck is John? <laughs> Did I just not look at this earlier because I was focused on trying to find the car stuff? Maybe. But I think we should probably- can we stop this? Oh god. Huh? Cool, cool. I think we should bring the tape back though. This seems like it'll be useful. This is... uh, is there a fax function on it? It's just a photocopier. This must be it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm bringing both back though. Just one sec, okay? This is, uh, we've got a very important tape here as well. Some advertisements from our esteemed sponsors. Very, very important. Put it on the- put it on the rack. One sec, okay, Peggy? Keep everyone preoccupied. With the exact same record we've been playing for a while. Should probably change that one up soon. Oh, I have two hands! I just realized I have two hands, don't I? Can I? Uh, there was a button for changing it. Yeah! You can put it... Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah, the tissue box might be... It'll come in handy for my tears when I get so scared of the killer coming over to our offices. Peggy? Damn you, Peggy. Where were you when I needed you most? Are these all empty? Hey, Peggy, you want a cup of coffee? Um, hold, hold on, hold on. It's empty! Where's my coffee guy? Where's my coffee guy? Damn it. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Don't be so violent. So here's my tissue. Oh my god, what is that? A... like a pendulum toy kind of thing? I'll just put this box right here. Because I have no space on my... actually, I do have space. I do have space. Put it right here. <laughs> See, 
Excuse me, okay? I just... just give me a sec. I'll... I'll be... Oh. My. God. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me take a look at this. Archives. Oh, jeez. This looks like it's gonna be... The stairs. I see stairs on the left side. Kitchen, external two. We gotta draw the guy away. So, the external are the, the extension numbers that we've gotta use. All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. I, I gotcha, I think. No, I should probably hold this in my hand so I can enlarge in it, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Peggy? Hey, did you get the fax? Oh, I, I got it, I got it. Yes, I have. Time to turn the music off. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? <laughs> Can you send it again? Jesus, Nash. Fine. Just hurry. It's getting close. Calm down. I'll be right back. Oh my god, these options are gonna get us killed. I can't resist. I can't resist those options. How could you? I know we all want to see those ones, but if I do it again, I'll probably get the guy killed. So let's... Thank you. All right. So one for me, and then this is for Peggy. You know what? This actually makes sense because Peggy won't come out. So I'm giving her a copy. You. Woman. Woman. Take it. Damn it. You need... Oh, okay, well, that's great. <clears throat> okay, we're ready. We are ready. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? <laughs> yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Office space? It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Where? Okay, so he is in the room next to the office space. But where are you, Maurice? Where are you? Can I just draw you back in? Wait, you're in the boardroom right now, I think. Okay, so you need to go to probably like... Let's say... Three or one? I don't... Oh god. Oh, we don't say the numbers, we say where. Editors? It might be a bit too close. How about let's go back to the kitchen for now? I know it's close to the stairs, but... Or maybe one. One. Let's go archives. Call the archives. The extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You are in the boardroom. One. You should go to two, but... You're so close. I want you to go to the kitchen if possible, but... You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! Okay, okay. How about you... No, no, no. Oh, shoot, I probably should have sent the killer over to editors instead, further away from the stairs. The archives is in the middle of everything. Oh, we can change it. On uh, second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy, we're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to change our minds again. Thanks, thanks. Where do you want me to call? I gotcha, I gotcha. Call the editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? I'm just scared you'll run into him when you're walking over there, that's all. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. We better hope he's not listening on the radio. The public radio that anybody can listen to. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. What if the killer is phoning? Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? I mean, never, never. I'm glad- I think we cleared the first step. If I tried doing it the other way, probably would have gotten him killed. And... Uh, uh, secret archives, what is that? The killer is going around to pick up the phone. But he's not listening to the radio, though? <laughs> I don't know how likely that is. <sighs> I don't think I'll ever be ready for this stuff. Don't worry, Forrest. You've got this. I've got Mr. Russell on the line. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. So we have to move the whistling man again? Oh, smart. Uh, this is probably... Yeah, yeah, this one. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, 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 I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Oh. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? There's only one door through the editor's office. Ah, I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. <laughs> I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. He has quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? He's already in the editor's office. You can't use yourself as bait, okay? That's a- that room only has one door. A TV? A TV? You would need a remote... A radio? I guess a ra- Wait, but well, we're on the radio. But would that be a good thing, though? Because... He'll be able to hear us? That doesn't seem smart. Maybe... TV? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. How are we turning ah, it on? Of course! I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. He's vetting my idiot decisions. Thank you, Maurice, for trying to save yourself. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. It's like the thing we saw in the office here. Do you want 
the radio station to be us, though, because then we can't communicate with Maurice. Because the killer is going to hear everything. But I think as soon as we get him to the stairs, it'll be fine. But, oh, God. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Because he listened to 189.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. It rubbed Don't off. Ponty Forest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Ooh. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Uh, hold the phone here. Hold the phone. I mean, we already got one person killed, so... I'd... And, you know what? I thought about this. Had a deep, long think. If the whistling man's gonna go around killing people, then I'm the one who decides if they get to live or not. I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. If I don't like you, if you're Brian Ponty, I might just let him get to you on purpose. So, you better watch out, callers. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that, and... Oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Yeah, hey, yeah. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Okay, we get a different song next time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh my god. Damn it! Did the killer hear that? Shit. Let me check the security cameras. Okay. He's still creeping around the other side of the floor. Ooh, okay, don't Thank get distracted. God. That was close. We need to be careful with that radio. I don't know what they asked me just now. Probably Wait. to turn it off beforehand. Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? Yeah. I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. Set it to this station. We won't talk. Wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. Good. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash... I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Um, the archives are probably too close, and the kitchen is where he is right now, so the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Do you want him to be elsewhere? Archives? Let me have a think again. Would the archives be better? Because, mm, I, I guess we don't have to care about the travel distance. I don't want them to bump into each other. That's what I'm afraid of. Go to the archives. And I feel like the killer, if he picks up the phone and nobody's there, wouldn't he just like immediately go out? But <laughs> he's just stuck in the room. Call the archives. The extension is zero one. The, I'm in the archives. I'm sorry. Keep your head on, <laughs> man, or he's gonna cut off mine. I thought you were still in the kitchen. I am so sorry. So it's either the kitchen. Wait. So you're not in the kitchen anymore, then. Go to the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is zero two. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Oh, because if he searched it before, then he might not go again? But does he know it's a ploy to distract him? Because in that case... He wouldn't go to any of the phone call locations, because he knows it's just trying to... Um, make him go elsewhere. But that is something we should think about. <laughs> 
let me have a think again. He hasn't been to the boardroom before because that's where Maurice was the whole time, but it's closer to the editor's office. I don't know, man. Is there a definitive right thing? It just feels like either one... Uh... Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? It's probably better that he goes to the boardroom for sure, rather than him not going to the kitchen, because he's been there already. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? <laughs> I don't think that'll work out very well, unless if you're really good at impersonations. <laughs> I'll just call the whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has oh. kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? So he's in the boardroom right now. Maurice is gonna. He's put the radio inside the secret archives. Where should he be? Away from the secret. This will be okay, right? You're gonna yell at me and stuff, yeah? Hide inside the secret archive. <sighs> Mr. Nash, <laughs> I'm not going in there. Where should I hide? One of these days, doing those choices is definitely gonna get us killed. But for now, they seem kind of generous with letting me pick them. But let's not push it, maybe. There's a desk? No, it's too close. Why would you... Mm, cubicles. Cabinet. But the cubicles are so... You mean the cubicles at the bottom? But you gotta lock the door. You gotta lock the door. Cabinet. Ah! Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. Because he'll be distracted by the sound. I'm he won't look in the cabinet. Turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Oh. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. That was close. I nearly clicked on something just out of instinct, and the timer was going down. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Yeah! Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Put the cubicle in front of it. Do everything. <laughs> if I'm being yeah. honest, I can't believe it either. Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Woo. Write up a few notes. Call oh, God. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that <laughs> as it is. Sorry. 
Talk to your zone. There we are, folks. The whistling Ooh. man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Yeah, all right, all right. I, what were these ones again? 189.16. Oh, different kinds of beginnings things? 189.16. I feel like we announced it ourselves enough for I me to really put a record on. Yeah, we're just, just just testing things out, all right. New one, we got a new one today. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stab in the twilight by knife and easy. Looks like the mm, night mm, should mm. be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. Ooh. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Yeah, let's let's be friendly. Uh, Ish. I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Too specific? I... What? Do you have any... siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. People don't usually expect that, huh? Ooh. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Can I ask? Sometimes I feel like the line between being a bit too nosy and getting to know somebody is definitely... Uh, personally, I'm afraid of overstepping. But let's, let's, uh, yeah. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad, she even made me take my stepdad's last name. Oh my goodness. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, yeah, I, I see. know. Overstepping. I'm, I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Oh? I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? No. <laughs> you sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's KFAM regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. I, I can't leave, huh? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Oh, God. Oh god, we better get a... Is there a kitchen knife somewhere? Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. I... Don't touch me. I've got a freaking roll of paper towels. We have stairs going down? Wait, oh, there we go. Uh, there you go. Second floor stairway. But where was the access to the second floor? These are just... That's not opening. I wasn't aware. Did we see stairs around here? Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, somebody's got a nice drawing of a rocket. Was that from one of the kid listeners, maybe? I'm sorry, so... 
You can hear the winds. This is locked. This is locked. That's good. I don't know why for some reason I'm thinking about something like Five Nights at Freddy's where you gotta like manage a whole bunch of crap and not let stuff fall apart where we're... I don't see anybody. I've got... I've got, I've got paper towel. Yeah, I'm the one answering. I don't see anybody. Hold up, okay, let me just... I have... Two paper towel rolls! Let me in, let me in. Oh wow, we actually got quite the stuff. Oh, hold on. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends though, Brad. P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Wow. I think we should see other people. Oh my god! These are like the things that come with like, you know, like little desserts. Actually, I've only ever personally seen this in Asia. I've never seen this in... What is this? This is North America. This is the States. Like on pudding or something. What the heck is that? Datables. Barbara. Ooh! Kind of want to bring this back. Okay, forget about the paper towels. Bring that with me. I'm just checking out the place before we do the thing with the stuff. Locked. For now. Oh, we've got a bigger section of the station than I realized. Tickets? Friday. Ooh. In the dumpster? Final breath. Oh, these are new records. Nice. New music to play. Do I have to bring it back or... Oh, sh sweet. Sweet! Okay, so there's new music just from doing that. Cool. Should be on the lookout for stuff like that. So many locked doors, so few keys. Alright. Who's buzzed? A... Tape? Is that why there was no caller? Or a person at the door. These are different kind of tape. Good job on the new job. Genie, good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Lots of love, mom. Why did she have to send her own daughter a card? Couldn't she have said this at home? Or why did she bring- Wait, is this a cubicle? Kind of crummy. It's like right next to the door. Genie and Carrie's friendship quit. Was that just me? Uh, that scared the crap out of me. What was that? Was that... What the hell was that noise? Did I do that? Holy shit. Yeah, I'll, leave, I'll leave this... Uh, I'll read this when we go back in the room. I don't feel safe here. What do you want? Play on air. Oh god, what if it's... What if it's... The Whistling Man! Hey, what the hell was that noise? That really freaked the heck out of me. Did I scare myself? My entire body jumped. I better not be the Whistling Man because, you know, he's supposed to be in the archives while we wait for Leslie to come back. I wasn't done with this yet. Why is there a camera? And why does it say alone on it? Rock on, gallows for life, haha, <laughs> okay, great. I I'm sorry, I- Oh, look! The S! The S! Do you see it? A lot of places- I don't know if it applies for like everywhere in the world, but yeah, for people who don't know what this is, this is like... A lot of people growing up in school seems to have drawn or seen this S in like- I've seen this a lot in elementary school. But that was- Ah! Uh... Like, you know, 20 years ago. I don't know if it's still popular these days. Why is there another mouse trap here? Anyway, let's let's go, let's go. Genie, that was Genie's cubicle though. I was interested to learn more about her, but we'll bring this back. Was there a carry here as well? Can we lock this? Can we lock this? 
I didn't even bring the tape back, did I? I didn't. Okay, this is my reading material. Downtime reading material. Didn't bring the most important thing. Lock it. Lock it! Faster, please. Thank you. Oh, God. Well, I guess we're not playing you this time. Peggy? Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Their handwriting is so... like a serial killer. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to... Pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Whoa. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I will <gasps> enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. That guy's an expert audio editor. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. That was extremely not encouraging. Well, the night's not over.